What's good with y'all, man? It's Tomorrow Want You 310. We back with some more anime adventures content. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing y'all my daily little gym farming routine, man. Y'all see we at 350k gems. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, bro, and lock into the channel, bro. Roll to 3k, bro. We're almost at 3k, so I appreciate y'all for watching the video, subscribing to the channel, and all that nice stuff, man. So let's get straight into the video, right? The first thing you want to do, and this is a rule for every single Roblox game that you play, bro. You do this in every single game that you play. I have to remind myself sometimes, bro. Y'all want to come over here to the codes and make sure y'all put in all the codes. If you're new to the game, you starting or whatever like that, every update they have a new code that you can redeem for 500 gems, 1,000, maybe 1,500 if they being generous, you feel me? Make sure y'all always do the codes. And like I said, if you're new, go ahead and follow them on Twitter real quick. Come over here to Geno's, talk to him. They'll give you a couple rerolls if it's still available, if it's still active. They fixed it. So make sure y'all do that, bro. Those are the first thing that you always want to do. The next thing you want to do in farming gems is you want to come over here to your quest real quick. Click that. Go to your daily quest. Get all of this stuff done, bro. Make sure you get all of this done. It's really easy, honestly, and it gives you a bunch of gems. Like, look at that. 140. 60 260 all of this stuff man 500 gems plus 900 look at that then you get summer pearls for the summer event if you need that and you get battle pass xp so make sure y'all doing all your daily quests this right here is a lot of gems right here this will get you going right right off the bat too and like i said if you're like more experienced in the game and whatnot or if you have friends or anything like that go to infinite mode and beat your infinite modes daily bro if you can beat these daily i know i haven't done mine because i've been busy like you know live streaming doing other stuff so i don't have that much time to grind because if i was grinding like i used to i would already be at a million gems right now but i can't because i gotta get y'all content right so make sure y'all doing y'all's infinites daily too also you would want to do your infinites because they give you guild xp which is over here at the squad like you know i got tomorrow squad you feel me let's go over here to guilds real quick let's teleport over this so i can show y'all Okay, we over here at Gills, right? So you want to be doing that, doing your infants because you get points for your squad right there. Look at that, 372. That's not too bad. That's not too bad, right? You get this for your Gills, so make sure y'all are doing that as well, too. There's also the quest person that y'all would also want to go to. Let's go over here to Summoner real quick. Make sure before you do infinites, like, okay, we have the uh, the Guts update was the last update that we had, right? So make sure you come over here and talk to Casca. Talk to her really quickly. Boom, of course. They look dangerous. Accept the quest, right? Boom. Once you add that in there, let's go over here to Quest. You click on the event. Boom, you get 500 gems and you get seven of those eggs. Make sure y'all always doing this for every update because it gives you 500 gems, which is a huge W. And on top of that, you're doing the infinite mode to kill the demons. And then after that, this is like, uh, these are XP, uh, not XP, evil items that you need as well. Like for Skull Knight, Gus, Griffin, and other characters of that nature. You know, Issei and stuff like that. You need these eggs. So make sure y'all always talking to her every time it refreshes and whatnot. One of the fastest ways as well, and I feel like it's like a cool little way to do it, is the battle pass, bro. Make sure a lot of y'all can trade for him because a lot of people will trade you for the newest units like Poseidon and stuff like that. When he's tradable, people will probably trade you for that. You know, Hari Bells and Ob Dolls and stuff like that. Y'all can add some good value and people will give you a battle pass. Like I said, the battle pass over 20k gems, bro. Free 20k gems is like easy, easy money right there. Gives you over 50 trade rerolls, gives you a bunch of gold, perfect stat cubes and stuff like that. Like everything. Look, star caps and stuff like that, because you need those star fruits to evolve the units. It gives you two units. Right here, you get Chad and Gabby Marv. So boom, you get the regular Chad with a cosmetic and you get the shiny version. So it's a free shiny and free cosmetics, bro. Like I said, make sure y'all are always doing that. You get Gabby Marv, you got a shiny and his regular, two good cosmetics that you will need and stuff like that. They give you a couple pearls. They added extra levels because usually it goes to 50. So it goes to 60 now. They added extra levels, you know, to give you a couple of pearls and stuff like that. A couple of little extra trait rerolls. And then, you know, get the little beach emote right there, which is really nice. It was a nice little touch that they did, right? Now, like I said, I know this mode might be boring, but this is the most, like, one of the fastest ways I feel like you can get gems in the game, bro. It's one of the fastest. It's Infinity Castle. I know it's boring, but I love that the game mode is in here because it gives you a lot of stuff. I right, boom. They should have reset it because it's been in here for a super long time, but it gives you a flash star. That's that boy Minato Namikaze, bro. If you're a pay to win or you're a whale or anything like that, or you're just super good at the game, you got a pro account, bro. Look at that. If you can get up somewhere in this range right here, 500 some uh, rooms and stuff like that, you can get a shiny version of the flash star. This all right here, beating the hole, beating it all the way to 100 rooms, gives you 15k gems, which is really good. I'm at a depth at 95% of my ranking. The furthest room I've done is, you know, one on one right now. It gives you five summoning tickets, ten summoning tickets, five star remnants, you know, perfect stat cube, star remnants, all type of good stuff, man. So it's really good to beat it. It's just a little boring, but I like the game mode personally because it gives you a lot of stuff that you can earn and it helps you out throughout the game. So I'm glad the mode's there. Hope the mode stay in the game forever. Infinity Castle, we need that. If you could do it with like other people, it'll probably be way better, but since you can't, it's a little boring, you know, just soloing it like that. Because you, who want to play the game by themselves for hours and hours, you know, farming that? Next thing you want to do is my favorite, man. This is my favorite game of a tournament. But look how many tournaments I've skipped. 
make sure you always participate even if you do good or you don't do good because the rewards are really good so even if you don't do that good like zero to that you can get 500 gems and five star remnants the star remnants add up because you want to you know it you could possibly roll a unique five star remnants is one trait re-roll so keep that in mind if you get 25 of them you know that's five rolls a lot of people save those and they roll on Boma speed card. I'm not doing that because if I get a unique speed card, you Boma, I'm gonna spaz. So <laughs> I already got a unique shiny Irvin because I use my star rooms. We're not doing that anymore because I want to get a sniper on him so he can get his boosting range. But we're not doing that no more. So like I said, it gives you 40 trophies where you can get emotes, 3,000 gems, stuff like that. You can get in like a little decent place. Most of y'all can get around 50%, if not higher, really 70%. So that's 2,000 gems. You know, five. You no, know, like. Three rolls on the Star Remnants, you know, 30 trophies and whatnot, you know, things like that, which is really good. And one of the newest things I want to show y'all too, that I really don't, I might recommend now because y'all are going to school, is to make sure y'all hitting the time machine. Before y'all go to school, you know, stay in the time machine. Before you go to bed at night, stay in the time machine. Leave it running from night all the way until you get home from school. Or just turn your uh, your computer settings or your laptop settings down, turn the brightness down, turn the performance down, everything, and just turn on your auto clicker and just AFK a bunch of gems. So by the time you go to school, you know, go to sleep at night, go to school in the morning, stuff like that. Leave it running until you get home. Maybe you finish your homework, stuff like that. That's a whole bunch of gems right there. That's at least a thousand something, thousand five hundred, thousand six hundred, two thousand gems right there, which is easy. Like I said, I usually don't recommend that method, but with a lot going on lately, like I've been busy myself. I've been AFK farming a lot of gems as well, a lot of gems as well. Okay, with all those tips being said, like I said, one of the another important thing I probably should have said in the beginning as well too is make sure to save your gems. If the character like that, like Heathcliff, he's a W character, right? I love Kirito more. He's my favorite, and I love that Summer Skin, too. That's my favorite from the Summer Skins. Him and Hawks are my favorite. But make sure if Heathcliff's in the middle, then you summon for him. The unit that you want that's OP, make sure they're in the middle. If they're not in the middle, do not summon for them. I know a lot of y'all say I get lucky and y'all pull stuff on the sides, but most of the time, you want the star player, bro. So if Heathcliff's not in the middle or Kirito or anybody, like Guts or anything's not in the middle, don't summon. And every time you summon, make sure you pop a Luck Potion. Like, that's why I say Infinity Castle is really good because it gives you luck potions and all that other stuff. Pop a luck potion every time, and like I said, you might pull the unit within 500 gems, 1,000, 5,000, you know, 10,000. As long as you don't try to hit pity on that, that's really good, too. Because like I said, the goal is to save gems. It's to stack them and stack them until you see an update that you really want, and then go full throttle. The reason why I'm saving this many gems is because if my, one of my favorite characters come out in an update, like an anime update and stuff like that, I want to be able to get a shiny version of them. So I'm willing to spend 300k gems, you know, almost a million gems when I get to that point. I'm definitely going to stack them up to a million. So like I said, if y'all want any other videos, like maybe a, a beginner's guide and stuff like that, like leave it down in the comment section below. Let me know like, oh, hey, man, we need a beginner's guide and stuff like that. It takes a lot of time to get, get into those videos, and a lot of people already made them. But I'll make them again if y'all would like me to make them for y'all. Just let me know down in the comment section below. And with that being said, that's really everything that y'all need to know when grinding gems and saving for gems. Remember, like I said, save the gems, you know. And that's all. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. I'm out.